A new hacker group going by the name Hello Gookie is trying to make a name for themselves in the domain of dark web hackermans. If we take a look at their dark web blog site, we can see that there really isn't much posted here yet, and they've really only claimed two victims so far, Cisco and this spicy meatball right here that we're gonna talk about more in a minute. Now, if we take a look at their introductory blog post first, we can see that they're using some Hello Kitty iconography, much like former breached admin Pom Pom Purim. And if we zoom in on this image asset a little bit, you can kind of make out a copyright descriptor in the lower right hand corner, which is kind of funny to me that the hackers would use a picture with the copyright holder's name just right on it. I guess they're just giving a giant middle finger to Sanrio Corp. Like, yeah, we use your intellectual property for hacker man activities, deal with it. Now, the kitty here actually has a meaning other than the fact that black hat hackers, of course, like cute anime characters, we all know that. But this is actually a reference to a name of a strain of ransomware that this group developed called Hello Kitty, which also had an earlier version released by the group on a Russian language hacking forum back in October of last year, because they said that they were going to develop a better encryptor tool and that they didn't need this one anymore. Isn't that nice of them? Letting the world have their old tools so that every script kitty with a Kali Linux VM can use real life Ukrainian cyber gang malware against their victims. Now, of course, when you change your name up, you gotta do something to make your name stand out, just like how Titty Boy dropped based on a true story after becoming two chains. These hackers have their big drop in the most recent post on their blog. The title is CD Project with a post saying, how you doing? I just remembered some passwords. Do you have it? Ah, uh, whatever, just leave it here. And then we've got some passwords that are listed here and below those passwords, we've got a cool little magnet link. And if you put said magnet link into a nifty little peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program, it'll start downloading a 761 gigabyte folder containing multiple other encrypted folders with the same names in this password section. Wow, I guess that must be the password for these encrypted files. Now, the supposed contents are as follows. W3.7z contains the entire source code for The Witcher 3, including all of its assets, which some people are claiming that they've actually successfully compiled into a working game. W3RTX.7Z is the same thing, except it's the RTX version of The Witcher. Uh, this folder here contains the source code for Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales, and this, um, you know, this folder here that looks like it came straight off of Epstein's thumb drive allegedly contains the source code for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the password for CP.7Z yet, or at least I haven't seen it posted anywhere. So I guess I'm just gonna have to keep this file in my dark webs downloads folder until that password is available and just keep on telling people that the, you know, 90 plus gigabyte file titled CP.7Z is not what they think it is. Now, these encrypted archives have actually been floating around on the internet for a while now, as you can see. The data that is in this archive was most likely stolen back in early 2021 when CD Projekt was breached by a double extortion ransomware group, which if you haven't heard about this new trend, basically hackers deploy ransomware onto your systems, but before doing that, they steal a bunch of data and threaten to release it onto the dark web if you don't pay up. Now, a lot of data was stolen according to CD Projekt, and an auction for that data was posted onto a dark web hacker forum not long after. And then, 
Then a person going by the name Red Engine said that a satisfying offer was received for the data outside of the forum post with the condition of non-distribution. Now, obviously, that is no longer the case because the data is free. Uh, the readme of the data also contains some interesting information. It reads, Subchooms, we announce a charity fundraising who don't believe us can go fuck himself. The donation rewards are the archive passwords for 10,000 US dollars each. In this order, Thronebreaker.7z, W3.7z, W3RTX.7z, and CP.7z. What's inside? Source and assets, Thronebreaker, Witcher 3 Vanilla, appears to be E3 Engine, Witcher 3 Next Gen, Cyberpunk 2077. The passwords will be dropped on a hacking onion site or in case of outage in social media. What do you need to do? One, download, two, seed, three, donate two, and it gives us a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Doge address. No Monero address, that's, I mean, that's just really amateurish. Uh, and then step four, tell your friend. And to warm everyone up, the archives with SDK, PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox have no password. CDPR data, company reports, NDA are shared with media, but they will not be public leaked. This leak is in accordance with the buyer in exchange for a discount. P.S. Elon Musk bro, pump Bitcoin on the 1st of April, please. Wake up samurai, we have a city to burn. Obviously, this note here included with the torrent makes it seem like the release of this stolen data was crowdsourced or you know crowdfunded for i guess a discount according to what's written here uh but since all of the crypto wallets that are posted here are on transparent blockchains i decided to run them in a blockchain explorer and i saw that only a very small amount of crypto was actually sent to the bitcoin and the ethereum wallets uh, about three years ago and nothing was sent to the doge wallet so the person who uploaded this torrent uh asking for that money only made about 36 bucks nowhere near the amount that was needed for this alleged goal now as you can see here on the torrent site this stolen data was uploaded to here on March 15th, 2021. So that really just goes to show you how fast stolen data can propagate. CD Projekt first noticed the breach on February 8th, 2021. That's when they became aware of it. Then they disclosed the breach to the public on February the 17th, 2021, and less than a month later, it's already uploaded to a BitTorrent site uh, for free for anyone to access with no password on at least the Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo variants of the game. Uh, and then, of course, later on, we ended up getting the passwords for, I guess, the PC versions of The Witcher and um, Thronebreaker and all that stuff. Now... Just like we talked about in the Windows XP leak many years ago, this leak here does not make Witcher or Cyberpunk, if the archive password is ever released, that is, open source. It's more accurate to call this type of thing source available because, yes, you can technically download, edit, and compile the source code yourself into a working game, but doing that is illegal. And if you get some inspiration from the leaked source code to develop your own game that's similar to The Witcher, then you're definitely going to get sued by CD Projekt and your code will probably never see the light of day and you might not see the light of day for a while either. But I guess if you're like a hobbyist coder gamer person and you're tired of playing broken versions of The Witcher and Cyberpunk, I mean, I haven't really played those games, but I've heard that they're really broken, messed up games, uh, and you wish to find those bugs and finally patch them yourself and then play a working version of the game for yourself, then I guess you could technically do that. But you probably still shouldn't because 
even that is illegal. But if you enjoyed this video, liking and sharing it to hack the algorithm is not illegal and neither is checking out my online store based.win where you can get awesome merch like the little Damon hoodie, the Libre sleeveless tee and accessories for your phone and computer. And all products sold in my store are available for an automatic 10% discount at checkout when you pay in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.